Let's take a trip back to the Roaring Twenties, the golden age of hotel bars where the who's who would gather for a drink prepared by the expert hands of a seasoned cocktail artist. Bright lights, cold drinks, and a warm and lively atmosphere could be found at any upper-class hotel in any thriving country of the world. But the Queen's Park Swizzle wasn't created at any grand hotel in London, Spain, or New York. It was first served as a welcoming drink to visitors from around the globe, at arguably the grandest of them all, the Queen's Park Hotel in Trinidad. But who made this tantalizing cocktail for the very first time? Who was the mastermind behind the masterpiece? Sadly, this secret was lost to legend. Lost with the swinging tunes and feathered headbands of patrons swizzling the night away. What wasn't lost was the recipe for the Queen's Park Swizzle. Start with mint leaves to cool and refresh. Demerara syrup for a touch of sweetness. Lime juice for a taste of the Caribbean. Crushed ice, a full-bodied rum such as the House of Angostura's seven-year premium rum. More crushed ice. And lastly, at least five to six dashes of Angostura aromatic bitters. After you've layered your glass, you're going to need a swizzle stick made from the branch of the Quarari beer tree. All it takes is two hands, a rolling twist to the left and another to the right, back and forth like patrons on the dance floor of the once famous Dirty Jim Swizzle Club. A booming hotspot for both locals and foreigners alike. Here is where the swizzle was served up almost 20 years later alongside the sweet calypso music of legendary performers such as the Mighty Sparrow, Lord Superior, and the award-winning Calypso Rose. Both of these once glorious venues have now closed their doors, but the spirit of the Queen's Park Swizzle lives on. Now that you know a bit about the swizzle, all that's left is to take a sip.